If you're looking for a pair of studio quality headphones for around $150, there are two obvious choices. Either the Audio-Technica ATH M50X or the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro. The question is, which of these is right for you? In this video, we'll compare these two sets of headphones, and by the end, you'll know which ones you should buy. After using the Audio-Technica M50s for over seven years, I've decided it's finally time to switch. And I made this decision based on a few key factors that I'll discuss in this video. However, just because the DT770s are better for me doesn't mean that they're the best choice for everyone. You can pick up either of these headphones for about $150, and they both deliver a lot of value for the money. Let's take a look at how they compare in a few important categories. First, the build quality of both of these headphones is excellent for what you pay for them. I don't think you'll be disappointed by either option. They're both made of a lightweight plastic, but that's to be expected at the price point, and it hasn't caused me any issues yet. Like I said, I've used this exact pair of M50s for the last eight years, and though they've seen better days, they still sound just like they did on day one. The material used on the ear pads does start to chip away around year three or four with consistent use, but you can buy a pair of replacement pads for under $15. The DT770s also feel well built. The cloth pads on these seem like they'll last a little bit longer, but you know I think they might start to stain over time. You can also buy replacement pads for the DT770s, but they are a bit more expensive. Some of the main selling points for the M50X headphones are found in the features. The detachable cables that come with the M50Xs are really nice for a few reasons. First, you can easily replace them if they break. Second, it just gives you a little bit more flexibility. If you don't need a long cable, it's nice to have a short cable that won't get tangled. The DT770 Pro cable is coiled, which is my preference, but you might want to pick up an extension cable for a few dollars. I find that the coiled cable is too short for my setup and often gets in the way if I don't use the extension cable. Another appealing feature is the way that the M50s swivel, which is really nice for portability. I still use these as my go-to live production headphones simply because they can be folded up and put inside a small compartment in my workbox. The DT770s wouldn't be my first choice for live production because of this. When it comes to sound quality, there's a huge difference between these two sets of headphones. Honestly, I like having both of them for different tasks. The DT770s have better clarity in my opinion. The frequency response has a boost in the highs that brings out the shimmer and detail of whatever you're listening to. That creates a spaciousness and separation that makes it easier to listen to the individual elements of your mix. On the other hand, the M50s probably have a flatter frequency response, and that makes them really useful as reference headphones for live sound and broadcasting. They sort of present everything in the mix as one unit rather than separate elements when compared to the DT770s. This gives you a valuable perspective when mixing because if your mix is a jumbled, muddy mess, that muddiness will be accentuated by the M50s. It's also important to note that the DT770s come in a few different impedances. I'm using the 250 ohm version, which means that they require a lot more power to get the same output level. If you're using an audio interface or a dedicated headphone amplifier, you're probably fine either way. But if you plan to use your laptop or smartphone headphone output, I would not recommend the 250 ohm DT770s. Both of these headphones have a closed back design, which helps with isolation if you're in a noisy environment. It's a close call, but the DT770s definitely have better isolation. However, depending on the version you choose, they might not get as loud. So if you're at a live show trying to listen to something in your headphones while there's a rock show happening, the M50s might be better simply because they get louder, even though they have less isolation. That's something to keep in mind. For me, the biggest difference, and the reason I decided to switch to the DT770 Pros, is the comfort. There's just no contest here. The M50s are way less comfortable. It might just be because I have a big head and big ears, but the M50s make my ears hurt if I wear them for an extended period of time. I can wear the DT770s for hours without any discomfort. It all has to do with the extra room in the ear cups when you go with the Bayer Dynamic headphones. While the Bayer Dynamics are over-ear headphones, the Audio-Technicas seem to be more like on-ear headphones. So if comfort is a primary factor for you, go with the DT770s, trust me. I'm interested to hear which headphones you prefer. Let me know in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. I'll see you in the next video.